Hi, I'm Gary Earl, producer out of Nashville. I get asked about metadata all the time. I want to answer a few questions today for those of you who may not be using it correctly or may not be using it at all. Here's the deal. All your contact information, your artwork, your lyrics, your PRO, all the information that a music supervisor in film and TV or a label A&R person, a video game, you know, all the information that they need to get a hold of you and that they need to know about you and your song should be on the MP3 as it gets pitched over the internet. So I'm going to recommend using iTunes, and here's why. Most DAWs today, you know, your recording that you use, whether it be Pro Tools or Logic, whatever, put metadata on MP3s, but they don't all put the same information, and very few of them put anything but the most essential sparse information. The reason why I recommend iTunes is that in addition to producing hundreds of indie acts worldwide, I have done a lot of music, hundreds of pieces of music for film, TV, commercials, video games, previews, et cetera, et cetera. HBO, Disney, ABC, NBC, CBS, uh, the Bachelor, Batman, Pokemon, etc., and almost every music super that I know uses iTunes for their music library and for their metadata. So we're going to use this song that was playing when we started here. This is called Touch, something we did for an HBO movie called Final Embrace a long time ago. Now, to get to the metadata, there's two ways you can do it. One, you can hit Command-I to get information, or you can go up underneath iTunes, pull down file, get info, and voila, there's the window. Tons of things you can put in here that you cannot put in most other programs that I'm aware of that put metadata on. MP3s. Details. Song name, the artist, the album. In this case, since it was written for an HBO film specifically, that's the name of the song for the film. Composer, genre. Check this out. There are more genres here than you can shake a stick at. That was a dumb expression to use. Whew. Beats per minute. Very important if you're pitched to TV and film because the film editor is going to probably want to edit video to your song, and knowing the beats per minute makes it much easier for him or her. And the single most important thing here is under comments, you need to put your contact information, your email, your text or phone number, and your PRO. It, which in the United States would be Performing Rights Organization, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC. Obviously, if there are multiple writers, you would put that information in like 50% Gary Earl at ASCAP, 50% John Doe at BMI. Click up here, artwork, voila. Here's the singer of the song who is also the star of the movie. Click, and here's your lyrics. Pretty cool, you don't have to give them a sheet of paper along with the MP3 or the CD. It's right there on your MP3. Now there are more options here. These aren't necessarily important. You can check them out yourself. These three are the most important ones to get in. And remember, if you don't have your info on here, what's gonna happen is the Music Super is going to get the song and say, wow, I love this song. You're going to throw it in their library, come back to it the next day, and open up the song 
no information, no contact. If they've been through 200 emails a day, like me, they have no idea where it came from or who wrote it, unless it's on there. Put all of your metadata on your MP3s before it goes out on the web, before it goes out on email, text, anywhere. Make sure when you send your babies out into the world so that they can take off and have a life of their own, make sure that they have your info on them so that they can send money back to you. Once again, producer Gary Earl from Nashville. I want to see you in the studio, hopefully. Let's make some music together, okay? In the meantime, wishing you the best of success. See you in the studio.